Hello, everybody. Welcome to uh, to this channel, man. My name is Michael Novak, and welcome to Doctor Who Is My Life. Nice to see you. This is just going to be a little uh, little Doctor Who rant video thing. I'm I'm going to call it. Um, so basically, here's what's been going on. I've been gone from this channel for uh, over four years. So hi. <laughs> this is this is weird, man. This is weird. Welcome. Uh, now today. In this little video, I just I, I think I, I I just wanted to to, to talk a little bit about uh, what has happened in the last four years, I guess. Um, so basically, back in January of 2018, I quit YouTube. I have a main channel just called Michael Novak. There's a link in the description, and um, and I quit making YouTube videos altogether. And so that's why I stopped on this channel. That's why you haven't seen me. But welcome. So here's the thing. Not only did I stop making videos on YouTube, I also kind of stopped watching Doctor Who. I don't know what it is. I just kind of lost interest with the show, to be honest. I don't know, man. This And this is why I'm calling it a Doctor Who rant. Okay, so a little rant little rant here um dude i mean back like on this channel i reviewed season uh, eight and nine with peter capaldi and after season nine i just dude i just couldn't be bothered with it i fell asleep during season 10 i mean <laughs> uh capaldi's last season when he um had billy as a companion i just i couldn't i couldn't be bothered to be honest i just i didn't feel their chemistry i liked her as an actor and i liked him as an actor peter capaldi obviously but it just it, it felt kind of off and then after uh season Season 10, when Peter Capaldi left and Chris Chipnell took over, Moffat left too, and, and Chipnell took over and he took uh, Jodie Whittaker with him. I, I, I'll i be honest, I haven't really watched that much of Jodie Whittaker. I, I was, here's the thing, I was really excited for Chris Chipnell to, to take over the Doctor Who universe because like, here's the thing, like I have watched Broadchurch multiple times and I love that show. I think it's a, a, I think it's a fantastic show. And I was really excited for Chipnell to take over as a showrunner because like a lot of other people, I was getting tired of Stephen Moffat. He had some really great episodes with Matt Smith, honestly. But when when Capaldi came in, even though I love Peter Capaldi, man, I, I I worship him and Torchwood and other projects he's been in. He's just he's an amazing actor. He he really deserved the role as a, as the Doctor. He's been a fan since he was a little kid. He's been you know uh, the head of the Doctor Who fan club as a child and whatever. I was really looking forward to seeing what he would bring to the table, and he's an amazing actor. But he was a victim, I think, to. He was, a, he was a victim of just bad writing in general. And if you go back in the show's history, there's multiple examples of this. I mean, look at, for example, Peter Davison, okay? Peter... Peter Davison, the fifth doctor, he's, I mean, I really love Peter Davison as an actor. I think he's really talented. I really like him as a character. I like him as the doctor, but he was just a victim of bad writing. I love Nizza. I love Tegan as well, his companions. I love that he had this, you know, ordinary stewardess Australian girl as a, as a companion, but it just, I don't know. The episodes were just boring. I mean, case in point, the kinda episodes. Go watch those if you haven't. Like, the, it's just, it's probably the most boring episodes of Doctor Who I've ever watched in my life. Like, and I think a lot of that happened with Peter Capaldi as well. He was just, he was a really great actor who brought a lot of good material to the role, but he was just, a, he, he, he fell as a victim of just bad writing. I think for David Tennant, the reason why so many people love David Tennant was because not only did he bring a lot of good to the role, but also he was just there at a really good time in the show's history with some really canon episodes being written. And it's just, it was a shame for Peter Capaldi, honestly. But I was really excited to hear that Chipnall was going to take over the show because like I've I've watched the other stuff that he's made and like I, I am a huge fan of him as a writer. And I was really looking forward to it also because I, I really loved Jodie Whittaker's role in Broadchurch, for example, but I just, it just fell flat, in my opinion. Jodie Whittaker. I mean, I can't watch Jodie Whittaker in Doctor Who without thinking of uh, Beth from Broadchurch. I just, I, I, I can't. Jodie Whittaker is probably really talented, but I've only seen her do like one character. You know what I mean? Also as the Doctor, because just with the, with the accent and the whole way that she portrays, it's like she's a one character act. She can play the same character again and again and again, and it's just, it works for Ricky Gervais, but, like, it, 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 but I was really excited for it, and it, I was really disappointed disappointed because it's just it's not good i feel like i kind of feel like chipnell just picked off where stephen moffat left the show you watch a lot of these episodes with jody whitaker and it just feels like the same vibe you know it's these really dark themes and dark cinematic cinematography and it's just i don't know man i think it's a real shame honestly i think it's a real shame but what also occurred to me with that was that doctor who has always been sort of a children's program and it's it's comedy it's drama but it's also comedy and um and the cool part of, about that is that there's these there are these little funny moments all throughout 
the story all the all throughout the show and and the different doctors and the different seasons but chris chipnell i don't think he's that talented in terms of comedy writing you know in terms of writing funny scenes he's a he's a drama writer he's a dramatic writer he's he's written like broadchurch for example you watch broadchurch and it's like i don't i don't remember a single amusing or kind of funny scene from broadchurch it's so serious and it's so dramatic and that makes sense that's that's it makes sense with broadchurch because it's such a heavy theme show but with doctor who it's just it's not the same man so i kind of fell out of love with the show and kind of stopped watching it uh just all together and moved on to other things but recently recently i was watching uh christopher eccleston's run uh i put on the episode rose and i got an idea i thought because here's the thing right i was introduced to doctor who back in 2012 and the first episode of the show i ever watched was the episode rose from 2005 and that was how i was introduced to the show that's why i fell in love with the show i, I fell in love with christopher eccleston as the doctor and and billy piper and russell t davies and just the whole theme of it and the first season is canon in my opinion the first season of the rebooted series is just canon so here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna be reviewing every single episode of the first season from 2005 here on this channel starting now so every saturday for the next 13 weeks i will be reviewing every episode of the first season of the rebooted series boom dude after four years i come back <clears throat> i'm gonna do reviews of all 13 episodes that's what's gonna happen man that's what's up and that's why i've decided to return because i fucking I, it's my favorite season of all time and i think it's worth a rewatch and a re-mention so i don't care that people have moved on and that christopher eccleston isn't really talked about anymore but uh because i i love that season and i just i want to bring it to life again so i hope you'll you know join me as we try to bring christopher eccleston as a ninth doctor to life in the next 13 weeks so this will be exciting i think this will be exciting um so look forward to it every single saturday from now on there will be a review of the first season of the rebooted series of doctor who starting with the episode rose that will be coming next saturday and um yeah that's pretty much it that's just all i wanted to say in this little doctor who rant video um i look forward to seeing you all next week and the next 13 weeks from now on leave a comment telling me if you've been a fan ever of this channel or watched anything i've created on this channel i i kind of uh missed making doctor who videos because i feel like we had a really great community back in the day when this channel was active and uh, i had a lot of uh, great supporters on this channel as well and it just i don't know man it made me miss it and I think I've made some really great videos on this channel, really great reviews. And I put a lot of heart, sweat, tears, and just work into making all of these uh, videos. If you go back and you watch all my reviews for like the ninth season, for example, there are sketches in all of them. It's just, I used a lot of work on it and um, I kind of miss it. So that's what I'm going to do. I look forward to seeing you all again next Saturday. That's it for me. Thank you for watching. Bye.